Hello again and welcome back to another video of Carolina EC Reviews. Today, as you see the name of the title, another handgun from the guys at Rock Island Armory or Arms Corps, whatever you want to call it. And in the past, I have reviewed several of their 1911s uh, handguns. And I think in my opinion, they make some of the budget friendly type uh, 1911s in the game. Uh, they're very popular, great quality, a lot of features that you can get for the money. Uh, this one runs about MSRP of $786, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this is going to be chamber 9mm, which a lot of people call it the 2011. I call it 1911, just a 9mm. <laughs> but anyways, it has a lot of features. And this is going to be more of the commander size, officer size type uh, handgun here. A lot of features comes with. Uh, it does come with two metal magazines here. And we'll be testing those out as well with some uh, different ammunition that's uh, that I have available uh, Just to give you a quick rundown uh, as you can see it's got some V uh, G10 grip handle very aggressive, which I really like uh, The cool one about this it's got the thumb cut out here so you can reach the magazine very well And the magazine release uh, works just fine and shoots those magazine very nicely and everything uh, the texture looks just nice the color and everything um it does have some type of magwell here a little bit it's got a little bit of beveling here on the sides and on the back side here which is pretty nice do the magazine reloads very nicely and everything since they're single stack so uh nice texture on the back here uh on the front we got a little bit of cut out, cuts here for grip which really necessarily don't need in the front you got all this right here that it grips to your hand just perfectly uh you got the extended beaver tail here with the safety uh, which is very nice. You won't get you can get real high on it. Don't have to worry about the slide biting you or anything like that. Skeletonized hammer here. Um, skeletonized trigger here, adjustable for take out, take out or whatever. Um, you know, very nice. Um, ambi safety on both sides. Very generous, uh, which I really use a lot to rest my thumb. Kind of drive that gun down, keep it down. Uh, punch real well so um what else serrations on the back not on the front but you can still do your press check very nicely because the action is like like butter in my opinion for uh six seven hundred dollar 1911 here it's very nice uh the cool thing about this one is gonna be it's got the picatinny or accessory rail here uh compatible with a lot of lights um let's see if i can find one here uh maybe <laughs> but uh it's compatible with certain lights here let me grab this one here from uh you know whatever light you may want to put in there i got this stream light here which um may not be the correct thing but it does work which is if you haven't seen a review of this make sure tlr 7a which is very nice see how flush it stays very nice light here to have if you want one that's flush so yeah pretty much any light that you may have it work with that rail here which is very nice uh you don't have to buy a dedicated light or anything like that and if you have a light already you can put one in it so uh what else uh fiber optic front sights adjustable two dot sights uh uh, rear sights, uh, what else? Stainless steel barrel, stainless steel guide rod. So, yeah, everything's nice. A lot of stuff for the money, in my opinion. Rock Island always make nice, very nice 1911s, and the action is just like, like butter. I mean, the action. I don't know how they do it, but it's like butter, and the triggers very light it's about four to six pound weight right there really you don't have to do nothing just straight out of the box in my opinion great 1911 uh it is hefty on the side again i'll put the specs down below for everything on this firearm as far as the barrel length the weight and all that good stuff you want to know like all, all that crap but anyways <laughs> for me it's more functionality make sure it's reliable it functions and it does and you know it does what it's supposed to do so enough talking let's take a few shots uh again ammunition is very scary so limited shooting on this 
in my part that's all i can do as far as um you know putting rounds through this i put about approximately 50 rounds through it and just give my opinion on it so stay tuned and let's take some few shots all right guys uh sorry for the wind is picking up here but it's a very nice day so anyways uh i loaded some just a standard 150 grain nine millimeter ball ammo and i have a few of these old hollow points here from uh i can't remember the name of the company but anyways <laughs> i'm gonna shoot some of those make sure it functions and run through it and then some uh federal here just put one round in there uh stuff is very expensive here take one of these out put one in here and again these are going to be uh seven seven or eight round magazines i can't remember but metal magazines let's put some few rounds of the uh hollow points first make sure it runs all right here we go I got some 115 grain ball ammo here. And I tell you, the recoil on this, very minimal. Being such a uh, heavy little gun, it managed to recoil. Very accurate. We're about 10, 15 yards. Uh, locks open. It's running pretty much anything that I have available as far as ammunition, but uh, just the way it points naturally, less recoil, uh, the sights are nice and visible. Of course, you can change them out uh, depending on your preference, but that trigger is nice, very light, and it just functions real well. So let's put some more rounds and then give my final opinion what I think about it, so stay tuned. All right, guys. Rock Island, 1911 A1CS, TAC, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 9mm 1911. So, in my opinion, as usual, Rock Island always bringing some great firearms to the market. A lot of features right here packed up in one firearm for the price. Again, MSRP on their website, $780 some dollars. Uh, so, you have to shop around to see what they're selling for, depending where you get it from. In my opinion, it's worth every penny. Uh, as far as, all, again, all the features that come with, it comes two metal magazines, if I'm not mistaken, maybe one. Uh, but they work. I have ran approximately around 50 rounds to 75 rounds through and again due to ammunition being so scared that's about as much as I'm gonna put through it so will I recommend it uh yeah in my opinion yes I like the 1911s from Rock Island they're very well made right out of the box they function just fine and you can have so much fun uh you know shooting them so yeah another another one for rock island and again thank you to those guys for sending this firearm as usual uh for me to get my hands on and shoot it and test it and all the good stuff and just have fun with it again if you're looking for a uh, more affordable 1911 or 2011 whatever you want to call it uh check out the guys at rock islands in my opinion they got very very nice firearms at a great price very minimal lo you know logo on their firearms and again all the nice features they come with uh, for the price so yeah that's pretty much it again check all the description down below on this firearm if you want to know more details about it weight and everything as usual um, check out the links down below affiliated links that helps me out as far as uh, monetization uh, again youtube always demonetizes all my videos so uh memo costs now so it would be greatly appreciated if you do give this video a thumbs up and check out the uh, affiliated links down below as well as uh, use all the coupon codes which is the best way uh, to support me as well and as well save you some money at the same time doesn't cost you any extra so yeah that's pretty much it guys bros everything everything i like about this i like it 
there's not really much cons other than the uh, safety, uh, which, uh, you know, you can probably change it out. It does have an ambient safety, but it doesn't bother me at all uh, when I shoot it. And yeah, it gives me a place to rest my thumb. So it keeps that far on real nice and down when I'm shooting to manage that recoil. So and just the action on this, guys. It's like, I can tell you, it's like butter. I don't see how they do it, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah, all right, guys. That's all I have for y'all. That's all I can uh, say much about this. Again, thank you again to Rock Gun for sending this for the channel to review and test and all that good stuff. And I hate to send it back. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social medias. Check me out and everything. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm active the most, especially for giveaways. And you don't want to miss out. So like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you the next one. Goodbye.